Welcome back. Thanks so much for joining us. We're getting the name straight here from uh, Off Beaten Path, which is a, an annual event that we try to cover every year. And thank you guys so much for being here. We've got uh, Debbie on the end here. we got Carolyn. And we have Gwen up on top. Welcome to the show. Thank and you. And we talked you. You, you just told us you're not an artist. It, my husband, it, it's Dwayne Jolly, and it's his okay. first year on the tour, and, and this is the he, 11th year. He's a woodworker. Woodworker, okay. And he's been doing woodworking for over 30 years. Is he a carver, a turner? Well, now he's just uh, he's making the step stools, okay. right. and uh, he's making, has made lamps out of raw, uh, found cedar with handmade paper lamp shades, and mm -hmm. he's hand carved. The form that the shade fits in. Now, is this a two-function stool yes. of some kind? Yes, and this is fashion uh, off a stool okay. that I had uh, as a little child. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's neat. Uh, you know, you can put it down and then climb up to the sink and wash your hands. Or the toilet. Yeah, true. Yes. So yeah. Any, anyone I've got who has a grandchild, these, a grand these are great grand for it. Yeah. But uh, yeah. 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 well, that yeah. highlights. Um, I've noticed in the past. Like I said this is at least three years that I've been on the show that you guys have come on. And I'm always amazed at the wide variety mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Of, of art. We, you know, there's woodworking. On the table, we have an incredibly aromatic candle. And I mean, I mean that as a true compliment. Yes. Usually, you, you pay good money for a candle unless you're standing, you know, 18 inches from it. You can't smell it. This will, this okay. will you'll, you'll smell this all over the house. So we'll talk about that one. And then this is yours. That's mine. This is yours. And you're Gwen. I'm Gwen. And so you are a stained uh, glass I'm artist. I'm right? a stained Look glass here. and photo artist. a Razorback. Artist. A Razorback Christmas ornament. Everybody Thank needs you. one of those. Now, do you work generally in smaller uh, pieces? No, I do everything from something as small as the little okay. uh, mm -hmm. hangers there okay. to uh, the four by eight um, glass that's in the chapel in the Calico Rock Hospital. Oh, so oh, wow. I That's do beautiful. any yeah. any size or shape mm -hmm. that you need. I just brought smaller yeah. so stuff this today. Is the one I'm holding is stained glass. In case the people on, on TV can't tell, uh, watching rather. Uh, this is stained glass from a distance. I don't know if you can tell. This is that's why I'm holding. I'm scared to put it down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great. So we have this, and then obviously we have paintings. Did yeah. you do these, Gwen? Yeah. So no, Carolyn. I didn't. Carolyn. Carolyn. Oh, okay. Oh, excuse me. You're Carolyn. The, so you have painted these. Yes. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. You brought a couple of those, and then we have, and uh, Gwen, you'll have to explain it once again what okay, this is. Okay, that is photo art. If you turn oh, it right around, right you can see the original pic picture, the, Let me see the, the photo, okay. the original photograph uh, is on the back. We'll get it in a minute, thank you. The okay. original photograph, yeah. tell me what you did with this. Okay, I took the original photograph, and I put it in my computer, and yeah. I created the art piece. And some of the art pieces are like that one, which are oh, printed wow. on paper mm -hmm. and framed and some of them are printed on canvas wild? and oh that is just isn't that groovy that little guy that little road runner was on the fence in our backyard is he a chick and i guess or a small one or it's a young one? it's a very young one because it was very oh, small okay. mm -hmm. and he he or she just wandered up and down that fence checked things out got down went around to the patio checked to make sure nobody <laughs> was you know, in its territory, yeah. and then went off to check somebody else's yard. Mm -hmm. Well, that is just great. Now, uh, we want to start off by telling people when this event is. Sometimes we fool around and forget to the very end. So when is the Off the Beaten Path Tour? The 14th, 15th, and 16th. Okay, so that would be a Friday, Friday Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. What time does it start? It starts 9. You go to drive to the studios. Um, beginning at nine o'clock. Beginning and at all the, nine. All the all the artists know that they need to have their doors open at nine o'clock. Right. Yes, they can't they be do. laying in bed till noon. <laughs> no, and That's there'll right. be signs and maps. Uh, okay. Yeah, correct. Yeah, That's what you all got around uh, Mountain Home and Calico Rock and Mountain View and goodness, I don't know where all there have been these little uh, programs. Mm -hmm. The Mountain or View tour Library maps is what they are. But yeah. it, it lists all the artists, and there is a map inside here. Uh, that will, it's very easy mm -hmm. if you just okay. look at the map and it, it gives the directions. And there's a little mini bio of, of what uh, you're going to see. Yes, there, there's a bio of each artist okay. in there and this costs nothing. This is your free entertainment, oh, your wow. introduction to trip. the arts uh -huh. because all of the artists will be demonstrating what they do in their studio um, as you come, you know, as people come through. Well, how, how many artists yeah, are on There's 24. 24. And what, one thing I wanted to share with the people around the Mountain Home area, uh, I mean, just leaving Mountain Home, it, 
the, there are two artists at one studio in Pineville. And then my husband and Linda Caperton, the candle mm -hmm. uh, oh, lady, mm -hmm. are just south of Calico Rock. And then Gwen and Carolyn are just on down Highway 5. So even if you, you know, can't quite make it to Mountain View one day, there's all along from at Pineville mm -hmm. to Allison, there are several that you can and, pick and you up. And you don't actually have to visit all 22. No, you don't. Uh, you can just pick, pick up, up one of these and, and, and decide mm -hmm. where you want to go. And I do know uh, if you don't find one of these in Mount Home, I know there's some at the library, mm -hmm. but also at the Calico Rock Chamber as well. If you go on into Mountain View, you can find Now, what else are we going to see besides, like we've got the stained glass. Uh, this computer generator just blows my mind. Uh, candle making, woodworking, jewelry. I actually have one of J.P. Rosenquist's ring on that yeah. I've had for several years, mm -hmm. and she's in Fox. And oh, they'll excuse be, me, she's at Pineville. They'll be wood turning, There's usually. Pottery. Pottery. Bas uh, basket, basket makers. Basket, basket makers. Mm -hmm. Door makers. Uh, door, door makers. makers. Room makers. Chair. Chairs. Uh, yeah. Tops, spinning tops. Uh, spinning tops. Mm -hmm. um, photography. Mm -hmm. And then the, uh, Jeanette Marson, what, she oh, spins her own wool. She raises yeah, her own weavers. sheep and then makes her own wool and spins it oh, and yeah. makes beautiful creations mm -hmm. out of it. And she and has the animals there that she... She yeah. steals she the which, wool Which from brings up a right. question. <laughs> Is this tour kid friendly? Or are some of these studios the kind where you're not going to bring a six-year-old? Oh, they, do, they no. bring them all. Oh, they bring I, them all. So oh, you yeah. think that's okay? Because sometimes, you know, like in a stained glass, I'm not so sure I'd want, you know, six-year-olds ripping yeah, them and stomping <laughs> through here, but, but it is. It, well, where, what happens is that to accommodate the six-year-olds, which you're trying to foster the arts in mm -hmm. the children as they're young so that they want to grow up to be one of these. Yes. So you, when you're getting ready, you, you for me anyway, mm -hmm. in the stained glass studio, I get rid of anything that they could, there's no loose glass or anything yeah, sitting right. around for them to grab, and they are fascinated by how this goes on. Okay. So you you show them how to do it and, and that kind of stuff. Does Mountain View have any glass blowers? Anybody? No, they don't no. have any of that. The closest you will come to that would be the um, bead makers. <coughs> oh, okay. And they do work with hot and, and okay. Because I can remember seeing that sort of And little blow stuff. torches, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Growing up and all that was always. Is there anybody doing leather on the tour? Well, there was. I don't, I'm not no, sure. I don't about think we have anybody doing leather. There has anymore. been in the past. Right, there has been. We have metal here. workers. Mm -hmm. Okay, metal workers. Just metal all kinds of different art, art yeah, workers. Everything. Yeah, all okay. kinds of, of, um, right. of artists. So and again, mm -hmm. go ahead. Well, I was just saying, people need to pick up on those maps and do a little pre bit of pre planning. Well, and And look around exactly where you might want to go and. Right. But you can also go to the website, mm -hmm. and that is, has this all the information on there, and that's okay. offthebeatenpathtour.com. Mm -hmm. Off, okay. Uh, let me, also let me ask. Facebook off page. Off the beaten path studio. Studio. studio dot dot com. Yeah. Right For someone here. that may want to take the entire day, my my fear would be where's where are the places to eat? Are oh, they're all along. Okay. Uh -huh. You know, down at Joe, uh, when you get to Allison, there's JoJo's uh, Catfish, okay. and then there's Anglers and and then you go on into Mountain View, I then okay, there's the plenty there. Well, in, in Calico Rock, we had, there's yes. a, a new, couple of new uh, mm -hmm. restaurants. There's the okay. White River Cafe there. So there's places around. Oh, yeah. Uh, are they yeah. listed in the, in, in the map area or not? Uh, they They're used not. to have. Yeah. I don't know whether uh, it's in. I this is the so. first year that the tour hasn't uh, gone out and it so got solicited sponsors. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, so, it, yeah, this... Uh, but like we say, it's a totally free tour, mm -hmm. and it definitely is off the beaten path. I yes. mean, it's some beautiful uh, countryside to ride down. But uh, it's just real important, I think, now more than ever to uh, support all these people who have been doing this for so many years. And I, ha I have something I wanted to share. I didn't quite want to read it, but I couldn't remember it all. But a friend of mine had, had sent this to me by someone, uh, Rebecca Joy Platt. And uh, she says, when you buy from an independent artist, you are buying more than just a painting. You are buying hundreds of hours of experimentation and thousands of failures. You are buying days, weeks, months, years of frustration and moments of pure joy. You aren't just buying a thing. You're buying a piece of heart, part of a soul, 
a private moment in someone's life. But most importantly, you are buying that artist more time to do something they are truly passionate about. Something that makes all the above worth the fear and the doubt. Something that puts the life in living. And I just love that. Just kind of sums that? it up. You know? Rebecca Joy Platt. Okay. All right. Well, good luck on this tour. Again, hopefully you'll have lots of people coming out. We encourage everybody to, mm -hmm. you want to take a day trip, it's Friday. It's a two-day event or just it's three, three days. days? Three days, okay. Friday, Friday Saturday, and Sunday. And it begins at 9 a.m. and closes. And There's a six on Friday and Saturday and four on Sunday. Okay. So and if you show the front of that flyer there so people know what it looks like mm -hmm. when they're out and about, maybe they'll find one mm -hmm. of these uh, around town. Yeah. And it's got some beautiful photos that shows all the different uh, artist works. But you'll have here. a map and a little bio mm -hmm. of each artist yeah. and so you can kind of plan your trip. And as you said, there are several of you between here and Mountain View. Right. Yeah. So you could go down on a Friday and as I said, I've got some girlfriends that do it every year and it's a great event. You know, mm -hmm. put some people in the car, take yeah. off, spend the day, you know, looking around. You uh, can get and some just, wonderful Christmas presents. You can get <laughs> some wonderful Christmas presents, no doubt about it. And go to the web, what's the website again? It's off the beaten path studio tour dot com. Okay. And, and there's also a Facebook page. Okay. The mm -hmm. same, same name. Off the Beaten right. Path Studio Tour. Well, thanks for making the trip up here. Appreciate meeting y'all. Well, we appreciate and, you and all. And I didn't share you as much as I wanted to, but uh, y'all come back again next time. Well, okay. thank you. And if anybody likes totem poles, I've got one four feet high made out of stained glass in oh. my studio. Wow. Oh, wow. Which is the first thing that I made. And it's on sale for $50, isn't it? <laughs> it's yes. It's not for sale. It's not for sale. <laughs> you have a four foot and I will make pole. one for you. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I get a kick out of this little Razorback uh, Christmas ornament yes. myself. And the, these little Christmas ornaments are, well, I don't guess it have to be a Christmas ornament, but this would be like something you could hang in your window. Right. And you can you put them the on sun. the little sticker thing, on the little suction, suction thing. Yeah, and, so and you give those. them to your buddies at but Christmas. But this is just so adorable. They can stick them on their cork board. Yeah. Everybody, everybody needs a razor back, and the paintings are beautiful, and this is just, I didn't know what to think about that. Thanks a lot for being here. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. We're going to uh, take a break now, and when we come back, we'll be talking with Kim Crow Shaner and Vince Anderson, and they're going to talk to us about the Baxter County Library. Mm -hmm. Stay with us. Thank you.